Okay, it's time for another limited edition anime unboxing with The Tim. Today we have this very special limited edition box set of Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans from Funimation. This is quite special because Funimation normally doesn't do limited editions of this caliber. So, let's go into detail on all the good perks of what this has to offer. Okay, here we have this wonderful Gundam limited edition Iron-Blooded Orphans box set unboxing. Now, if you watched my previous video, I did comment on some of the damage issues that are apparent in this video um, with my Amazon order. And I went into detail on that. So if you want to hear my grievances with the poor condition that this came to me in, or at least the outer boxing condition, go back and watch that video and then come and watch this one. And I basically just go into more detail on that matter. But here I am carefully unboxing this and being very gentle as I can be to not damage the box any further than what it has been damaged in transit to me. We have the Gundam model or Gunpla that I will be building eventually and some filler box in with it as well as the anime itself with the chipboard box art. Here I am displaying the rounded corners and some of the damage that came with the box and matters such as that. This is just a filler box. I'm not really sure what it's used for. I don't know what I'll use it for. I'll probably just put it back in the bigger box and just keep it there because I can't think of a reason why I would need to display that. It doesn't show any anime characters or graphics of any kind on it, so not much to look at there. Now this is the limited edition anime box, the chipboard box I was talking about. Um, you can't really tell it too much in this, but upon closer inspection, I did notice some damage that sustained to this. Not on the corners or anything, but the damage sustained was Funimation's fault because the front of it is damaged ever so slightly. And it also had like some fingerprints of some powder of some sort. I'm guessing whoever handled it and put the box set together just had dirty hands or something. I'm not really sure where that came from. It was like baby powder or something. So I am a little disappointed that the box set itself is damaged just a little bit. Now here we are with the DVDs and Blu-rays themselves. With the boxes with these. These is what you would get if you were to buy the... Season 1, Part 1, and Part 2 from Amazon, I believe. These are the exact same things that you would get there. I do not believe the cover art is any different. It does have reversible cover art from the inside and out, so you can flip it. Here I'm showing actually some damage to the DVD Blu-ray case itself. The cover, again, this is Funimation's fault. It wasn't securely in there, and since it was down, it was rubbing all over the inside of the box in transit to me so this is not amazon's fault or the carrier's fault this is funimation's fault that my case art did get damaged in that way okay here's the second one um again the same deal i believe it's the same one that you'll get if you buy the singles off amazon or write stuff or wherever you buy your anime from so there's not too much to comment on I do want to comment a little bit on the chipboard box art some more because it does not have the best picture quality on it. It seems to be a little blurry on the chipboard box limited edition. So that's quite disappointing to see that Funimation could have did a better job with the resolution for that. And also the box art on the huge outer box, that's the same way. It's not the best quality of picture and it does seem to be a little blurry and not too great. Now here we have the art book that came with it. There's not much to say about it since I haven't seen the anime in its entirety yet. I don't have too much to say since I don't know much about the characters. I've really wanted to watch this anime for a while. I actually began watching it online on Gundam's official YouTube channel way back whenever it was new and coming out. However, I didn't finish it because I got spoiled that a character I really liked does die off in the show, so I decided to just drop it then since it got spoiled for me but i'm happy now that funimation is releasing it because i'm going to watch it in dub form now and i'm very happy about that all right here we have the gunpla uh, i really wish the box art was in color instead of uh, black and white so that's a little disappointing i do look forward to putting it together i'm going to put it together and put it in my uh, anime figure display shelves 
I might do that in a time lapse of a future video or something. I don't really know if anyone would be interested in seeing that. Plus, they take quite a bit of time to put together anyway. And there you have it. That's everything that comes with the box set. It looks pretty damn good, but it is a little disappointing in areas. Partly at Funimation's fault and partly on Amazon's fault because of the damage package I received. I will say for a Funimation release, this is actually quite good but only for a Funimation limited edition release. It is a nice box set. It looks pretty good. There are some little nitpicks that I had with it, but for what all comes with it, for a Funimation release, the price is acceptable and predictable. I say that because the actual box that the cases come in is your standard Funimation uh, DVD holder, and it came with the art book, which they are doing more of now. So the 20 extra dollars for this, as opposed to their standard limited edition releases, is justifiable for me because that is generally what the price is for a Gunpla. I do buy Gunpla from time to time, and I enjoy putting them together. And the price tag for most of them of this level and grade is usually around $20. While I say this release is quite exceptional for a Funimation release, it does fail in comparison to the Sentai limited editions. Now I've said before, Sentai probably has the best limited editions for anime releases in North America. They're quite well made. It comes with tons of little goodies, which the Funimation releases don't normally have. There's just a lot more with the Sentai Filmworks releases. So if this is the standard, the highest you can get, this would be a five star. And while this box set is exceptional and very good for a Funimation release, in the grand scheme of things, compared to the Sentai Filmworks, which I would regard as probably a five star rating, this in all, I'm just gonna have to give it a score of maybe four stars. I feel it could have come with more because you get your Sentai Filmworks releases that come for about the same price as what this was, and it usually comes with a lot more goodies compared to this release. So final thoughts on this release. If you can afford it, I would go for it because it is very cool to have, especially for a Funimation release. It looks very cool on your shelves. You can separate this outer box with the inner boxes inside and have even more display to show off. But if you're looking for something of Sentai caliber, this does not meet that expectation. But if you're more casual of a fan than I am, just go with the standard editions. It'll save you 20 plus dollars just getting the season one sets of the anime. Thanks for watching, and I will be back with another limited edition anime release as soon as some more come out because I'm buying them all the time now. I will see you later.